Welcome to Simply Fishing Extreme, brought to you by Evernew E-Tech, spend more time on the water. Arden Reels, rule the water, made in the USA. Simply Fishing Extreme Marine, doing more than just keeping you afloat. Element 21 and the revolutionary carrot stick rods. Find Nissan of Maplewood, where elegance and dependability meet. Pose, maker of the Awaker, the giant jackpot, and the Havana Jack. I'm Bob Mesa from your host, and I'd personally like to welcome you to the first cast of the rest of your life. Your next monster is only one cast away. And by 18 Tackle, with Marabou and Mylar Me Too. Now, let's meet the extreme team. Bill, Fonda, Jason, Uncle Bud, Tracy, Chad, and Mike are the extreme team. Please sit back and enjoy this edition of Single Fishing Extreme. I thought I saw a double pump on that last shot. Hold on, I'll bring her around. Can we come down by you? No, no, no. Just a little guy. Nice. Get the witch out of the boat fish. Ooh, she green though. I was wondering why you kept hitting that same spot all the time. Well, she come up. I saw the double pump on her. I might just, oh. <laughs> You almost got her. <laughs> you, could, you couldn't say that was a bad dad job there because it, it, it I couldn't get it. It wasn't a 50. Don't worry about it. Hi, everybody. Bob Mace coming right here in the back of the boat. Dave Stewart from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And we're at Century Lodge on Osborne Bay in Eagle Lake. We're chasing muskies. Now, here's the deal. 61.2 degree water. It is July. It is the end of July. When was the last time you looked at 61, 62 degree water on your surf tempting in July? Never. I've been at this for 35 years. I've never seen it this cold. We're going to find fish. Why on top water? Because we got bright sunny skies, radiating temperatures, I hope, and this is as slow a bait as you can throw in this kind of conditions. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more muskies. I hope in giant ones. I'm not going to promise anything this week. Hopefully some big ones with Dave Stewart and I as we challenge Century Lodge, Osborne Bay. That one came up. I saw a little kick behind it, and I thought, God, I should eat it. Threw back up in there again and didn't happen. I threw back and finally ate a third time. It's going to take a little bit to pull these fish up. So what do you think, Dave? I think I would have had that fish if I had <laughs> had another three feet on my arms, but oh well. <laughs> Next. <laughs> oh, she was a cute one, though. She about maybe 38 inches. Yeah, a lot of nice spots on it. Yeah, so. it is a cute one. Nice fish. Bring her back. Oh, hold tight, hold tight. Hi everyone, Bob Mason over here. You know, I've got a place, a very, very special place in my heart. It's Osborne Bay. We've been excellent. Uh, Randy did a great job, the guiding service. Uh, Randy started taking us out when I was 10, and we've been catching big muskies ever since. The accommodations here are fantastic. Check out Century Lodge on Osborne Bay. Come on, bring her back. Hi, I'm Bill Foner. And we're Mike and Evan Macecomber. And I'm Bob Macecomber with Landon. We're Simply Fishing Extreme Marine. We will do more than simply keep you afloat. We are performance fishermen selling and servicing. The fishermen who demand performance. Where are we? Simply Fishing Extreme Marine. Hey fishermen, come see us at Simply Fishing Extreme Marine. Perfect. Bob Masacoma here for Klein Nissan. Whether you're headed to the backcountry in search of your favorite fishing hole or cruising down the back roads taken in the scenery along the way, you can always depend on your Klein Nissan. Elegance and dependability don't stop because the blacktop does. 
Take your pride and joy to the water in a Klein Nissan. Give them a call at 651-379-4300 or visit them at KleinNissan.com. Look at that. Oh, big fish. Big fish. This side over here. That is a 50 fish. <laughs> Folks, cool. you're seeing it right now. My 100th just came in the net at Witch Bay Camp. Holy smokes, Rocky. He ate that thing. I should be able to hit the other side with this Havana pretty easy. But we'll take this down. We get down about probably 60 yards, 80 yards on this. I'll turn the boat and cut across. It's going to be really tight to one of those reefs down there. But there's a whole bunch of cabbage under us that you don't see. Slow that thing down a little bit and put a rhythm to it. You know what I mean? If you watch my Havana, there you go, you got it. There you go. She missed it. She missed it, man. She just totally missed it. We got fish here, Dave. That was about a 40. I don't know how she missed it, though. Blind. Was that following or is it just pop you? I'm sorry? That fish right there, was it, it following you or was it just hit you? No, it took a shot at it. it come out of the water, it missed it. I don't know what it is about that angler's edge, but they got that thing dialed in, man. Every fish we've caught's been in that bite window. Oh, the scene when the set when the bars are up there. Yeah. They really have it dialed in. It actually makes you a little lazy because you think you can go sit on the shore. And like you said, you can always bop one in the head. <laughs> yeah. But it's not like when they're on. You know, when they're on, they're on. I'm gonna cut us across here. going to be very very shallow as we do this. I know I'm going to be rubbing rock in here so. Seems like everything is pretty well just perfect for uh, for us to get one right in here. Well, it could be. It's got the weeds, the rocks. Well that one that just took a shot at this Havana was I'd say 40 inches. What's that? The one that took a shot at my Havana I would say is a 40 incher. Got him. Stay with her. Stay with her. Don't try to horse her. Just stay with her. Just stay with the fish. Don't rush her to the boat. Just stay with the fish. Had to set the hook, Bob. Yeah, you got it set. <laughs> I ain't rushing them. I'm just keeping them tight. Okay, the front of the boat's in two feet, so. I don't know how good he's hooked, but he uh, did that tail dance and didn't go anywhere, so. Okay, which side are you coming on? This side? Bring her down here. 
Keep her coming, keep her coming. Hello, yes. <laughs> yes, it just. Good job. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Don't lose them. Good job. Oh, Not that's great. Them. That was super. You want me to cut the hooks quick? Yep, let's do it. You want me to come down there and grab the net? Or? Oh, hang tight. I got it under my leg. Okay. Let's see. What do we got here? I'm going to roll her. He wrapped himself up in there pretty yeah. good. There we go. She's, she's fine. <laughs> yeah. She's fine. She's doing all her thrashing now. She came in pretty yeah, easy. She's fine. There's your jackpot. Yep. Let me reel this up real quick. Now it's, it's all cut and everything, so huh? I'm going to slide her back to you and you can lift her out of the net. I got the net. She's gonna, you're gonna have to get a hold of her. She's not coming over to you. Get a hold of her. Get your hand on the jaw. There you go. One point is right there. There you go, big guy. It's nice huh? fish, huh? Look, what is it? Another 40? 40, I'd say 41, 42. Another nice 40 inch class fish. She ate that jackpot though. He was right up and boat. hammered that thing. I was like, I got it, I got it. That was, that was going. Well, let's get her back. All righty. Sounds good. Thanks. Nice fish. There she goes. <laughs> that was one lively fish. You don't have to worry about sending that one back. Uh, oh, no, she went that back. That was cool. She went back just fine. All you got is peel your jacket off now, huh? <laughs> yeah. All righty. Good Thanks, job. Bob. Good, good job, job, man. Bob Mesocoma here for Klein Nissan. Whether you're headed to the backcountry in search of your favorite fishing hole or cruising down the back roads taken in the scenery along the way, you can always depend on your Klein Nissan. Elegance and dependability don't stop because the blacktop does. Take your pride and joy to the water in a Klein Nissan. Give them a call at 651-379-4300 or visit them at KleinNissan.com. There, on your left, you can almost see it. One of the most magnificent sights on the planet, Lake Athabasca nestled just below the 60th parallel. Lake Athabasca hasn't changed in nearly a thousand years with its pristine shorelines, pure crystal clear water you can actually drink, and countless fish. Boy, has she got fish that is for everyone willing to travel to Other Side River Lodge. From the magnificent world-class Northern Pike that prowl these waters to the oldest and biggest lakers on the globe, Athabasca has it all. Other Side River Lodge caters to the true sportsman seeking an all-American plan guided package with three incredible meals a day and memories you won't find anywhere else. Records have been broken by guests at Other Side River Lodge in the past. You could be next. Book your dream trip of a lifetime to Other Side River Lodge where fishing dreams do come true. Call Cliff or Stella toll free at 1-877-922-0957. Hi, I'm Bill Foner. And we're Mike and Evan Mesacomer. And I'm Bob Mesacomer with Land, and we're Simply Fishing Extreme Marine. We will do more than simply keep you afloat. We are performance fishermen selling and servicing. The fishermen who demand performance. Where are we? Simply Fishing Extreme Marine. Hey, fishermen, come see us at Simply Fishing Extreme Marine. Perfect. water temperature when we stopped at that last fish 
we were up to basically 68.6, 68, 68.7. 68, we're at 66 here. 66? 66, and that light's only been down now for about 15 minutes. So you can tell how quickly it's gonna cool off. The lake basin itself is pretty cold. I guess so. Thought it was up to 72 before. Oh, that was in the back of the boat. Yeah. You want to throw as close to shore as you can, big guy. Put it right on that shoreline. Yep. Even if we have to go in and get it out of a tree. <laughs> That's what we'll probably end up doing. You got one? I guess so. Hang on a second. No idea which way she's going here. It's a good fish. Okay, I'm gonna bring her back toward the net. Yep. Bag in the water. In the hoop, good enough. Keep her in there, big guy. <laughs> Folks, we just came down the lake. Not more than 15 minutes ago, you saw us both the other fish straight up the way here. We came up in here, we're fishing a little bit warmer water than we had today by about five or six degrees, and it's showing. These fish are starting to click for us. Good job on the net, big guy. Oh, thank you. Good it went job. Right, it went right in, it made it nice and easy. Okay, hang tight now. I'm gonna have you come to, do the same routine. Got it. That's a nice fish. Nice fish, yes. Keep her in there. You come down in the seat. Yep, that's where I'm heading. There you go. You got her? Yep, got it. Okay, yeah, here you go. What have I got hooks in there? Okay. Hooks didn't look like they were in him too bad. Yeah, they are right there. Is it possible if you to hold that the bag right? Careful, 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 careful. Yeah, I can hold the bag. Okay. <laughs> the problem I got is I can't see. Uh... It's not a bad fish. No, it's a, <laughs> it's a real nice fish. I'd say 46, maybe 47. Yeah, that's gotta be 47. Yeah. Nice fish. Oh, she's not mad. I mean, she's mad. That's a lively one, I'll tell you that. Yeah, she, uh... Got her? Yeah, hang on a minute now. It's all yours. Yeah, yeah. Is that better, huh? <laughs> oh, is that a beauty? Yeah, she was really nice. She was right tight to that shoreline. These fish have been really, really shallow. I'm gonna get her back before she gets hurt. Stay down there, baby. You know, that might have been a little bigger than 47. Yeah, it might be 48. It's not very fat, but it is long. Should we see real quick? Straighten out, baby. Huh? 48 and a half. Yeah. That just doesn't look like 47 anymore. <laughs> there you go, baby. Thank you. 48 and a half. Nice Good. fish. Good job, huh? Yep. Muskies are what they are. They like low light. Period. She's just sitting there. Nice fish. Nothing wrong with her whatsoever. 
We got some bugs though, folks. Don't go anywhere right back with more muskies out of Century Lodge. Dave Stewart and I, we got some good fish going, even though it's been frigid, frigid water temps. That's just one of many that are gonna come in the boat, I hope. Introducing the Hit Squad from 18 Tackle, featuring a full line of revolutionary new blade baits. The Aggressor X with its incredible Vortex, Avenger X featuring .061 wire and dual Vortex blades, and the all new revolutionary Assassin X. Hit them where it hurts with blade baits from 18 Tackle, a revolutionary new concept in spinner baits and bucktails. Visit us at www.18tackle.com today and see the entire line. Order yours today and join the 18. Simply call 1-800-222-8775. Eat it. Come on, eat it. Eat it. Yeah! Whoa! I can't swim! Be careful what you ask for. Pose the original giant jackpot. Bob Mesacoma here for Klein Nissan. Whether you're headed to the backcountry in search of your favorite fishing hole or cruising down the back roads taken in the scenery along the way, you can always depend on your Klein Nissan. Elegance and dependability don't stop because the blacktop does. Take your pride and joy to the water in a Klein Nissan. Give them a call at 651-379-4300 or visit them at KleinNissan.com. Hi everyone, Bob Mason over here. You know, I've got a place, a very, very special place in my heart. It's Osborne Bay. It's been excellent. Uh, Randy did a great job, the guiding service. Uh, Randy started taking us out when I was 10, and we've been catching big muskies ever since. The accommodations here are fantastic. Check out Century Lodge on Osborne Bay. Come on, bring her back. Oh, look at this. Nice fish. So I got one lip hook in her. Uh -uh, hang on, hang on. Close that cleat, please. I know, I know. I got it. We own her. On that big Avenger. All week long, we have been putting up with weather changes like you would not imagine. 61, 62, 63, 64 degree water. That's where we are right now, 64. Uh, she ain't a 5 0 fish, but she's a nice one. Indeed. Just going up a rock bank. I'll tell you what happened this morning. Let's get this fish out of here and I'll tell you what happened. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time. We waited quite a while. Oh, boy. I'll tell you, you know, I mean, the reason I'm here is because the smallmouth that run in these rocks, period. I went to that big orange blades, and there she was. Yes. And it wasn't, uh, it didn't take you long. You didn't even have that lure on very long. No, a couple minutes, maybe 10. That's that sweet. Yeah. Nice but job, she, Bob. She came up out of nowhere and ate it. I mean, so slow. I just saw her coming straight up behind it, and I went, okay. Yeah, all right, drop the rod tip and boom, she ate it. I was at the end of my cast when you hit the boat next, <laughs> that fish next to the boat. I was sitting there reeling as fast as I could possibly I'm gonna pull reel. a tape out, but she's, she's 48, 49. 48, 49, nice fish. All right, this, this, ooh, nice fish. Oh, I seen it right off the side of the boat where I'm at the end of my cast. And I seen that you just, I think, just nailed it. I'm going like, oh my God. <laughs> you know, it's just like, how am I going to get my line in that fast? 
and get the net out. That was crazy. Exactly. Exactly. But we did it, and that fish is sitting in that net. In the net. All right, she's uh, she's definitely 48, 49. It's a heavy fish. Can I want to take the take the handle on that side of you? Yeah, get a hold of both. Okay. You got them. See what we got. She's got a she's got a head that's pushing 50. Yeah, she does. She's got she, she's got that lower jaw, and she's not happy. Okay, I can see those. Well, it wasn't out there that long to get her tired, so she's got no. a lot of life in her yet. Yeah, and I didn't pull on her because I, I knew she was lightly hooked. Not a game of... Is that a hook still in? I'm sorry? Hook still in the fish? I don't know yet. She's so green. It only... She come to the net. I mean, we don't have her... Come here. Tried to bite you. Uh-uh. No, she's just moving around. I got to get her to roll so I can get my hand right here. Some serious teeth. Watch I was just going to say, watch them teeth. There was like some wicked teeth in there. Okie dokie. Nope, she's not 50. Not 50. She's 48. Right in there. We can put but the tape on her? Nah, I will, I will here in a second. But a nice fish nonetheless. Get her? Yep. Yeah, it's alright. We'll get her back. Oh, let's pull a tape just in case. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't throw it back without measuring it. Oh, it's not 50. Forty-eight and a half. <laughs> Forty-eight and a half again. I don't really care. It's fun and it's a nice fish. Boy, oh boy, this is what you come to Century for, though, dude. Big girls like these. And under these conditions, like we said when we started the show, I promise nothing. Because when this water is this cold, you're even lucky to see those kind of fish. But the lake's got them, that's the key. That's the key. Hi, everybody. Hey, listen, thanks for watching this week's show. You watched us put up with some really unbelievably inclement weather. Started at 61 degree water, closed at 64 degree water, 248s, a solid couple more fish in the 40 inch class. And I bet you we had 15 to 20 fish a day up to the boat that we couldn't get to snap. Dave, thanks for being on the show. I hope you had a good time. Thanks a lot, man. How'd you like your net job? That job was just fine. <laughs> we'll that, put it in the net. That That's job great. was just fine. Remember, folks, Century Lodge, Osborne Bay, Eagle Lake. Come up and see Rich, Kay, Randy. Everybody else is here. Holly, have a good time catching these big fish. Hopefully, we get better weather than we did. 48 and a half, 248s in the boat, not bad.